Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to be updating your Mac. It doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, it's going to be the exact same instructions for all of you. So on the top left hand side of our screen, we're going to see the Apple logo, click on it. Second option, you should say software settings. Usually we did all our updates under the App Store before, however, now we do them all in system settings, except for any particular apps. Anyways, right now, just go into the second option. Once you do that, you should see this. And if you don't, just go right into right here your system settings and under system settings go on and go into search typing updates you're gonna see software update and that's gonna take you here once you are here if you don't see any updates coming up don't worry about it turn off and on automatic updates that should refresh things and you should be able to see this update right now so go on and just press on update now just uh, make sure you guys have a good backup of your Mac for any update that you do do not be in, in the middle of any troubleshooting or in the middle of any projects when you do an update. Always have a backup using Time Machine, which is something I always recommend. Yes, this update's small. However, Time Machine backups are essential before you make any updates to your Mac. And that's because if anything goes wrong, then you should be able to just restore it and then you get all your stuff back. Now, if you guys have a MacBook, for example, make sure to have it hooked up some electricity even though the battery could be 100%, if your MacBook's maybe a little bit older, well, the battery's not 100%, although it says 100%, and it will drain out faster than a newer Mac. So, I highly recommend charging it while you guys are downloading and installing any updates on your Mac. For some of you, it might even tell you to do that before you run any updates. Also, keep in mind, although this update's quite small, under two gigs, always have a buffer of 50 gigs at least in your Mac so everything goes right and nothing bad happens. You don't get stuck at any point in time because you run out of memory once it's installing the update. Sometimes you have enough memory to download the update and then once it restarts, it's trying to just load all that information, it runs out of memory. That's what you don't want ever to happen because then you're gonna have to troubleshoot it and delete some files, which I do have a video about how to troubleshoot that by the way. But that's a whole different process and it is a headache. So do not do that. Have at least a buffer 50 gigs just so your Mac can work fine also. At this point in time, it's all about your internet speed. So just let it be, come back to it later on. All right, so if you just left your Mac TV, you would have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar. You would have just restart and then you're back into your Mac. Everything would be done. You should see that you're all up to date. So right here under general software update, you should see that you're all up to date and you're officially all done. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.